What is up guys, my name's Andrew, and for this commentary, I'm going to be talking about new games and what I'm excited for and why I'm excited for them. But before I get to new games and what I'm excited for, I'm going to be talking about the gameplay and what I'm using. I am using Core Ninja 1311's gameplay or Corey. He's in our clan and this is my second commentary over his gameplay. Basically because that's what I had that was the right amount for this commentary. So games I'm excited for. The first game that I'm most excited for would have to be Battlefield 3. A lot of people are not excited for this basically because a lot of people are called Duty Vandals. Battlefield is a good game to me basically because it's a change from Call of Duty. It has no new tooting or spawn killing and those are the things that are most annoying me about Call of Duty anyways. So when I rage over Call of Duty because I'm getting spawn killed or the other team's just noob tubing across the map and it's pissing me off, then uh, most of the time I will go to Battlefield Black Company 2 and play that with one of my friends. It just, it's a change to me from Call of Duty and it just doesn't make me as mad most of the time. And I say most of the time for a reason, because there is times when people on the other team just piss you off big time because they just camp in vehicles. And I figured out ways to get around that because now I've gotten to a higher rank where I've unlocked more stuff to destroy it with. So I'm not as big as a uh, rager on Battlefield by Company 2 as I was, but that doesn't mean I don't get angry every once in a while. So, now, the second game I am excited for would have to be Modern Warfare 3. Now, mostly, it's the survival mode that's going to put me over the top for Modern Warfare 3, and I've only saw one trailer for it, though. So, if they release another one, and it looks it makes it look even more awesome, then that will probably be my number one game that I would like. Dogs waiting on your go. But for Modern Warfare 3, the multiplayer the is probably going to be the same thing as Modern Warfare 2 with a little twist and a little bit more customization like we saw from Treyarch. And this is just guesses. I don't know anything about Our what's going to be the on the multiplayer. I'm just going with what I feel like is going to be on it. And also, probably more guns. And then the prestigious. Those are probably going to be the main things that are going to be changed in the multiplayer. That's why a survival trailer, I think, was a good change for them. Because it brought something new to the table. Just like Treyarch did with the zombies in World of War. Now... They continued that in Black Ops, which made me even more happy, basically because that's mostly what I played in World of War. I didn't play a lot of multiplayer in World of War. I played Campaign and Zombies most of the time, basically because that's something fun you can do with your friends, and you don't get pissed off at everybody else in the world. Now, the next game I am excited for would have to be Gears of War 3. Uh, a lot of people have said that I've heard have said that Gears of War 3 is a step down from Gears of War 2. Which, I played the beta and it didn't seem like that. It seemed like it actually went up and improved something. And the multiplayer seems like it took a step up. I actually wanted to play the multiplayer most of the time and I didn't in Gears of War 2 basically because it wasn't I don't really know how to explain it. It just wasn't as sorted out, I guess is the best word for it. Now, something else that I like about Gears of War is its co-op campaign. Because you have Marcus and Dom. 
Now, I can't remember in Gears of War 3. I know they're adding new people. I can't remember if they were adding new people to co-op. Like, I, didn't, I can't remember if they're going to put four people in co-op. I think they are, though. Something else I like about Gears of War is the Horde mode. I hope they continue that in Gears of War 3. And if they do, I would be very happy. Because me and my friends, me, well, me and my friends that had Gears of War 2 anyways, would go on board. And I remember laughing the whole game because um, one of my friends had just gotten Gears of War. And we made him play Horde Mode first. And he didn't know what any of the characters were or anything. And if you ever play Gears of War, you know what a boomer or grinder is. And that scared the shit out of him. Because he was walk cause he was uh, walking backwards trying to fight somebody. And one of those came up behind him. And that scared the shit out of him. And I remember us laughing for the rest of the game. It was so funny. The game is starting to come to an end, and I'm running out of things to talk about, and I don't want to go rambling on, so I'm just going to end this commentary here, and I will see you guys next time.